Hi, my name is William Jones, and I'm with the Office of Career Exploration and Success. With today's pandemic, many employers are moving their recruiting practices to the online space, and candidates must adapt to the challenges that are today. Here are four tips to successfully navigating the virtual interview process. Some students ask, what should I wear to a virtual interview? Well, the honest answer is exactly what you'll wear to a regular interview. And that's going to depend on the company culture and the industry that you're applying to. There's something about professional attire that changes your posture as well as how you present yourself. And remember, you never know what's going to happen in a home environment that might reveal what is underneath the table. So dress slacks and a skirt are also important. One more thing, stay away from stripes. Sometimes stripes can distort the video camera. Also, gym tones are best. So find that great tie or that piece of jewelry, but remember, don't overdo it. Some of the best interviews are more like conversations, but don't forget, please remember to stay professional. But these techniques can include things like nonverbal cues, such as nodding your head, leaning forward, and maintaining proper eye contact. I recommend taking a bright color post-it and putting it near your webcam. This will remind you to look in that direction when you're answering a question. Additionally, if it's a phone interview, I highly recommend that you take a photo of the person you're interviewing with, or any photo for that matter, and placing it in front of you. This will constantly remind your brain that you're talking to a real life person and it will remind you to smile as well. There are three tips to feeling more confident about your upcoming virtual interview. Tip one, practice. Tip two, practice some more. And tip three, guess what? Practice even more. Interview Stream is a virtual tool that's available on our website. Through this great tool, you can select from thousands of questions and record yourself responding to those questions. You can play back your video feed so you can assess your own performance. And you can even share it with a career advisor, such as some of the ones within our own office. Most video conferencing applications that employers are using today for their virtual interviews have a feature that allows you to test your equipment out prior to your interview. I highly recommend that you do this a few days prior to your interview, ideally around the same time of day that you will have your interview so that you can test out what the lighting will be like and what the audio level should be like. Additionally, you may want to invest in an inexpensive webcam light. And as one of my colleagues says, you should put as much effort into your virtual interview as you would for your Instagram story. As for your environment, don't sit with your back toward the window. The light will just oversaturate your image and make it harder for the other person to see you. Also, many of you are going to be interviewing within your own home, and your home is a great reflection of who you are. Just make sure that reflection is what you want to portray during your interview. If you have family, friends, or roommates, please make sure that they know that you are interviewing during this time frame. And I will highly recommend adding 15 minutes onto that so there's not inadvertent interruptions in case your interview goes over. And finally, many of you have pets and they are adorable. Let's make sure they're also put in another room so that they don't interrupt your interview or pull focus. Ain't that right, girl? Oh, hey. Hey. In many ways, virtual interviewing is a lot like in-person interviewing. There are many ways to prepare and increase your level of confidence. Even in this pandemic, many employers are still continuing to recruit for positions, and we are here to help. Visit our website at careers.rutgers.edu for additional virtual tips.